Okay, I'm going to show how to mark something as shipped in JIRA. Um, I have not done this before myself, so um, this will be an interesting video. Um, the first thing I think is I want to look at issues and search for issues. At that point now, it's listed all the issues. This is a long list here. So I'm going to filter that down by smart receipts. And then I'm going to only look at the ones that have been released. Okay. So now I have a list of released smart receipt issues and I'm going to want to mark them as shipped. So I can go into one. Actually, this one's already loaded. Uh, and then I think I need now click on edit. And I can go down to labels, at which point I can just type shipped and create a new label. Another thing I could do potentially if I needed to is I could say shipped. Um, You know, I could actually put like a, uh, you know, a name here, like um, out of version 4.2.1 or something like that. Um, these kind of things uh, could be done, which allow us to uh, like mark something that's shipped and also put a version number on it. Or you can put a date here if you want to be able to search for a label like that. Okay. So... I'm not going to do that because I'm not sure if that's someone that should mark as shipped. Um, now that now that that's there, uh, just to show you how you can now search for that. Now I can say search for issues again. I leave everything else the way it is. I can click more here and say I'm looking. Well, I haven't have it here, but here's all criteria, right? So I'm going to say I'm looking for a label, and now it'll ask me what label you want to look for. Well, there are none that are shipped right now, but but for example, I could look for the last release of C4, which is version 31. And now it'll only give me release information about... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I get a phone call coming in during a video. Um, so, so, or was I? Okay, so now I've, I've got something where these are all the things that were labeled uh, under the C45.0.31, which gives me a nice list of all the features. My, my guess is that probably these all are, you can even, even filter it down by those that are um, in, a, in a different state. Oh, look, it sh shows up here. Um, I guess that's because that's the legacy stuff. But I bet if we, if we go into a specific project, um, yeah, then we can just say release, and then it's gonna narrow it down by those items for C45.0.31 that were released. Okay, I think I think that's good enough for the video.